Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the importance of having precise time, volume, pressure, and speed when requesting a vacuum pump. It's very important to only request what you need because any of these variables can increase the size of the pump and therefore the cost to you. The formula we use to determine the pumping speed that you need is we take the volume divided by the time you give us times the log of the initial pressure, which is usually atmosphere, down to P2, which is the pressure you tell us you want to achieve. And we have a system factor that we put in, which is 1.2. Now, as an example, I've taken a thousand cubic foot vessel, and I want to get down in 50 minutes. I'm starting at atmosphere. I want to go to one tour. So that's 20 times the log of 760 over 1 times 1 1.2. So I need 159 CFM. Now, if you tell me you only need two tour, which doesn't seem like much, but I'll determine the pumping speed, same volume, but it's 760 over 2, the log, which is 5.9 times 1.2. So I only need 141 CFM pump. So by going to one tour, you're increasing the speed by 18 CFM and 13%. This becomes even more dramatic the lower the pressure. We take the same volume and the same time, but this time we're going to 0.1 tour, which is 100 microns. And we're going to be able to do that with a 214 CFM pump. Now, if you tell me, oh no, I need 10 microns, and you don't think there's a big difference there, I'll do the same formula, the same volume, but we're going to 10 microns as opposed to 100, and now we need a 269 CFM pump to achieve that pressure in the same time. Therefore, we have to add 55 CFM and 26%. So that is a substantial increase in the size of the pump and the cost of the pump. So always be precise when you give the vendor the information so he can size it properly for you. Thank you.